What's up guys, or two wheels here. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Before I start this video, I just want to say thank you so much for watching the last video. Honest to God, I was not expecting it to do the way it did. Um, I made that video, it was my first ever YouTube video. Um, and it was a walkthrough of this bike right here, the Panigale V2. And honest to God, I was expecting like, I don't know, maybe 10, 15 views. So I think when I checked yesterday, blew me away. I think I had like 4,000 views. I'm like, holy crap, I don't even know 4,000 people. <laughs> like, who the heck's watching these things? So, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I just got my GoPro set up today, so that's kind of what you're viewing it through. If it sounds stupid or if the mic is wrong or the picture looks stupid, I'm still working on it, so bear that in mind. Uh, uh, let's get started. I just want to kind of get on the bike, drive around, and just see uh, what I can get into today. Jeez, I'm 23, but my back, my back is like 45. Okay, so a couple other things too about the bike um, since that last video. I was able to actually get it up to, uh, looks like 236 miles so far. So when I, when I made that video, I think I was at like 65 miles. So I've had a chance to drive it a little bit more, which is great because it's, it is so much fun. But here in Colorado, it's so cold holy crap in like the last like december january february it was so cold i could barely make any videos um so today in march it's like kind of upper 50s so actually like lower 50s but still i got a bunch of gear on so i feel like i'll be fine today to make a video today's the first day i'm trying it out in race mode hopefully you guys can see that in race mode so i'll see how that goes i've been in sport mode and street mode for most of this uh break-in period if you will uh, which I know everyone has an opinion on that, but I've been trying to keep it somewhat easy. <laughs> All right, let's get going. Such a clunky shift, you know, when you when you get into first, it's like clunk. Feels good. It's so smooth, and the oh my god, the quick shifter. The quick shifter feels like an extension of your foot. It is phenomenal. So in race mode, obviously I'm not really getting into it now, but let's see if I can tell. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> so it's just the, um, God, it's a windy day today. For me, I just notice it, it's more like, um, it's snappier, but I think, oh no, yeah, I think it gives you a little more power too, because I think it's on the dynamic engine mode. I know I went through that in the last video, so you can go, you guys can go check that out, but there's a bunch of modes, like there's street, uh, sport, and race. Um, this is quite, uh, this is quite a big bump between, from the street mode. Definitely shouldn't get this bike to start on, <laughs> and I'll get into that here in a sec, but um, this is definitely not a beginner bike by the way. Holy shit, dude. That's ridiculous. I'm still in the braking period, so that was probably not the smartest move. But it's so fun. Oh my god. See, that's... Okay, I have a hot take on that. Why would you... Like, if nobody keeps their bike for that long to where I feel like it would even matter if you do the proper braking or not. And I know I'm probably going to get destroyed here for saying that, but... Just enjoy your bike, dude. Seriously, just go... I mean, don't, like thrash on it by any means but like you shouldn't feel bad you know oh my god that's gravel all right i'm gonna turn here so we get off this really windy windy road go to a little slower here through here if you guys live in the denver metro area uh if you guys know anything about parker uh pradera is a really prestigious neighborhood out here. Um, super wealthy. A lot of, you know, it's just like E-Class, Mercedes, and all this other crazy stuff that's over here, so. Like you got multi-million dollar homes everywhere. It's crazy, because I'm, I'm 23 years old, so to me, like owning a house in this market seems almost like impossible. My God, I'm so jealous of it. Oh, that's cool, what is that? This is cool. Got, like I think it's one of those Suron bikes. Those uh, e-bikes. Those things are sick. 
Uh, you guys are gonna think I'm absolutely nuts, but I got my license not that long ago. Uh, I got my uh, license to be able to ride motorcycles, like the endorsement or whatever they call it, literally a year ago, like almost to the day. So why the hell am I on a, uh, you know, Ducati? <laughs> So my first bike I ever got, and you might also think this is kind of dumb, was an MT-09. It's such a good bike, but it's definitely a very powerful bike. So I was almost like right off the bat, I was already like used to that kind of power. Um, and the MT-09, it's, it's, it's a great bike, but it's got a face that only an owner could love. Um, I mean, you know what I mean? So I, I mean, I wasn't doing like stunts or anything crazy on that thing. So honestly, it didn't make too much sense why I owned that bike. It was a great naked bike. I honestly kind of wish I didn't get rid of it, but it allowed me to purchase this bike, which I, I think is just a better suited for the type of riding I do. Um, traffic out here? What the hell? My only criteria for this bike was I just want the most beautiful motorcycle. Like, I, I didn't give a crap about anything else. I'm like, just get me the bike that looks amazing. Um, I know that kind of sounds privileged, if you will, but I don't, I don't really care. Like, I was gonna, I was looking at the V4, but those, like, the stop like the stop like traffic that's out here, it would be completely useless for me. So, I got the V, and it's also a lot more money, too. The V4, I think, starts at, like, 25000 and this one was 18000 so it's a lot less money. Um, you know, that was another big factor, because then I could afford to do other stuff, like get more gear, and get the GoPro set up and all that, so... That's why I went with the V2. And my god, I'm glad I did. This is such a great bike, guys. It, it's so fun. Like, I think a motorcycle has to be fun, you know? Even if it's like a touring bike, I feel like it just has to be a fun ride. Otherwise, why would you buy it, right? Oh, shit. Okay. That's turning. That is ridiculous, dude. Well, that's a cop. Oh, boy. I only say that because it's a bright red motorcycle. And we're kind of an eyesore, you know? All you see is gray, silver, white, black cars, so... Oh, that's another cop. Okay. I've only had like positive experiences, at least with the Douglas County cops out here in Colorado. Um, yeah, no, no real issues. All right, so a little bit about me. So I'm 23 years old. I am from across the world, actually. So I, I was born in Nepal, which if you don't know, that's where like Mount Everest is. It's kind of tucked in between like China and India. Um, it's, a, it's a tiny little town. Um, town. It's a tiny little. Oh, it feels like a town. It's a tiny little country. Uh, however, majority of the people that live in Nepal live in the capital city, Kathmandu. So. type of guy that gets on this bike, the V2, and goes, oh man, what if it had another 55 horsepower? You don't need it, dude. This thing is so fast. You don't need it. Maybe, okay, if you're on a track and you're trying to track um, a Ducati, there's better options. But if you are, what's up, guy? Um, stick with the V2. Trust me, stick with the V2. You know, this is probably, probably the worst road to be doing this because there's deer absolutely everywhere. And that, that would kind of suck if a deer popped out in front of me right now. So this is kind of embarrassing. So I'm a I'm pretty small guy. Um, I think on a good day, with all my gear, like maybe 5'7", <laughs> on a good day. When I went to go get all my gear, the jacket was fine, but the pants, especially these pants, they just, they were too long. Like I, they, I just could barely fit into them. And so, this is embarrassing, but I don't care. I'm actually wearing women's pants, women's riding pants, because they had smaller options. And the only difference is that the, it buckles kind of strange. Like, you have to use your other hand. It looked, It's dumb. I don't like how it, how it works, but hey, man, it's comfortable. I mean, I wish I had a little bit more room for the uh, you-know-whats, but 
it's all right. <laughs> it could be worse. Man, that's such a nice raptor. Is that a raptor? Yeah, that's a raptor. Those things are sweet. See, when I say I'm a car guy, like, I, I love all of the above. I love German cars. I love Japanese cars. I like trucks, we're kind of loud, you know? I think a lot of people are so quick to hate on stuff that they don't even own. They're like, oh, well, this is what, you know, is what's perceived in the world, so I'm just going to go with that. It's like, really? Are you? Like, sure, you might, you might love it, but you really ought to try something else before you have such a strong, passionate opinion, you know what I mean? Like, yes, I have a BMW, but I love Mercedes. I love Audi. I used to have an Audi. I've had a Mercedes. I've had an Audi. I've had a BMW. I love them all, dude. They're so great. They're different in their, in their ways, you know? But if you don't try them, you just never know. And that's why, like, these fanboys exist, because they're like, oh, well, they're only going to stick to this. Don't do that. Look at that dog enjoying its life. Dude, it'd be sweet to be a dog. Get free food. Get a nice house. Um, you know what I need is one of those um, mounts for my phone. But I feel like it would um, distract me, so I haven't purposely haven't gotten anything. That is too good, man. Oh my god. So obviously this being a brand new bike, um, I was kind of, I was worried if it would have like, like if defects or whatever. The only thing I've noticed so far is the paint quality is kind of crap. But thankfully, where I bought this bike from, which was uh, Bay Myers over in on Arapaho, here in, I don't know if you guys even know where that is, but um, here in Colorado, uh, they they took it, the bike back and then they detailed it, and now it's spotless. Like there's not even a scratch on the tank at all. Like not even a micro scratch. Hey okay, guys, I think I'm gonna wrap up the video right about here. Uh, I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video and the last video. If you haven't already, please go check it out. I'm not gonna ask for likes or comments honestly because if you guys like it, you'll do it. So I don't see the point. I'm going to try to make videos at least once a week. I think that's... Oh, boy. I think that's a decent amount of videos to be making. Um, I don't want to pull out in front of these people. Yeah, I think that's a... Once a week is probably doable for me. Uh, just, like, over the weekend, most likely. Um, obviously, with the weather getting better and whatnot, I'll be able to make more videos, which I'm very excited to do. Um, and again, if the video quality or the audio quality sounds stupid, I apologize. I promise I'll figure it out eventually. Uh, this is again my first like helmet cam video I've done so far uh, on the channel. So cut me some uh, slack there. But yeah, anyways, thank you so much. Have a great day. Peace out.